uh, cutaneous T cell lymphoma is a um, rare form of no, what we call non Hodgkin lymphomas. And those are generally um, um, yeah, a malignant transformation of, of normal lymphocytes. So you have either B or T lymphocytes. They can be in the lymph nodes, they can be in the blood, but they can also be in the skin. And if one of those um, T or B lymphocytes turns into a cancer cell in the skin, then we call that the primary cutaneous T or B cell lymphoma. And since you were asking about the T cell lymphoma, so uh, the cutaneous T cell lymphomas, they really start, like I said, they originate in the skin. And typically it is a very slow um, process and it takes, um, on average, several years to really diagnose a patient because it starts relatively slowly with maybe um, a red, um, scaly, itchy, or we call that pruritic um, rash eruption um, that gets biopsied. And really, um, it takes usually several years and quite a few biopsies in most cases to make a definitive diagnosis of the cutaneous T-cell lymphoma in the skin. And of course, you have many different types of cutaneous T-cell lymphomas, but I'm talking about the one that really represents about 50 or more percent of cases. The, the typical or the most common form is mycosis from coitus. Um, and then it can also involve other organs. It can spill over um, into the blood. Um, and when it, there is a really significant blood involvement, then we call that the Cesare syndrome. But those two forms uh, combined, mycosis fungoides and Cesare syndrome, are really the, the, represent the, the large majority of the cases of the cutaneous T-cell lymphoma. Mm -hmm.